Luis Garciano is a professor at the London School of Economics, an expert on Spain's financial system. He has also authored a book on the Spanish crisis with a title that translates as Nothing is free, avoiding a lost decade after 10 incredible years. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a good title of a book. In fact, <laughs> we, we, we could make a whole show around it that yes. would last 10 hours, like the, the use of negotiations. The use of it is all about the search of the free lunch. Uh, it's, it's always <laughs> about the search of the free lunch. Uh, talk to me a little bit about Spanish banks in general. We had Banco Popular coming in line with estimates. I guess they're confident that they can tap the markets before needing state funding. How realistic is it? I don't know how much uh, they're going to tap the market. My sense is that a lot of the deleveraging is going to happen through reduced lending and asset disposals to the extent that that's possible. Um, it doesn't really address, this, this, this capital raising exercise doesn't really address the key problem for Spain, which is not so much on the funding side, but on the asset side. There's a lot of bad quality assets in those, in those, in those books. There is a lot of real estate loans, uh, developer loans that are really not looking that great at all. Of uh, because of course it's a very different situation to a lot of the other European countries and there was a huge of course unemployment but also a huge real estate crisis in Spain. So exactly. what do, do these banks need to do at this point? I mean the best solution would be to what, put the bad loans to, to one side, come out and saying how much they have and, and kind of maybe create a bad bank? I think the bad bank solution is looking like really the only way, the only way forward. The, the, uh, real estate uh, problem was around 300 billion four years ago it's still around 300 billion there is really not been any reduction the loans haven't been repaid um, some asset swaps have taken place and they have neither been repaid nor, nor nor are they current so at some point this problem has to be addressed i think there's going to be a new government in spain on the november 20th mm -hmm. and i think the government the, at least the popular party which is leading in the polls has signaled very clearly that what they are going to, to want to address is going to be this problem first. Because if they don't address that problem, I guess it will be very difficult for investors to, to invest in these banks. I mean, when the, the banking authority asks the banks to raise money, you know, if they had to do it in the next couple of weeks, would they fail? It would be hard. I mean, obviously, Santander and BBVA are in a very solid well, position stronger, still. Yeah. I think there, there is still, I mean, all the analysts uh, agree that, that, that they are position is, is, is quite good in that respect, all the real estate lending. I mean, this war that, 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 that Europe is fighting about uh, uh, the bad assets on the sovereign lending side is really not the war of these banks. I mean, what they, the, the battles they are engaged with are, are, are the developer loans in the, inside Spain real estate loan. And indeed, if you don't clear that up, it's going to be hard to, to, to start raising funding and, and go back to market. And uh, Luis Garciano, if we look, I mean, you're expecting a change of government at the next election, election in just over, what, five weeks. Yeah. Are, are they going to be better at handling the crisis, or is it going to be worse? Will they have, give Europe a clear indication? The signals that we have all been getting on the last months have been very encouraging. My sense is that the government wants to do the structural reforms, wants to address the labor market problems very clearly. Um, and is going to address the financial sector problems. I think the first hundred days of this government are going to be radically different. And that my sense is that that's going to make a big difference to the markets. The markets are going to see a country that is not very much in debt, that has a big pool of, true, the unemployment is our best problem, a wor worst problem, but it's also a growth opportunity as you start to mobilize all these people with the labor market that starts fixing itself. And they're going to see a country that can actually start pulling together, I hope. Yeah,